Hey Moonbeams, we're out for Scorpio season and we got a new moon in Sagittarius. Yes, adventures are coming. Venus is changing signs and Venus is trying Uranus. Expect a great surprise this week. Here's your weekly astrology. Hi, gorgeous Libra. How are you doing? Oh, we've had hell, haven't we? Hell with all of that Mercury retrograde and Scorpio season. Well, fortunately, we're out of that now. We have a new moon this week. I love a new moon. New moons are all about letting go of the past, letting go of the crap and starting on a brand new cycle. Expect this new moon to deliver you brand new ideas and some seriously important conversations which could transform your life. It's that big. I mean, I think new moons have the potential for that. So if you're waiting for any news, expect it to come soon. But also there are endings. New moon is about letting go, dumping crap. Is there a way that you communicate or is there ideas or ways of thinking you have that you need to let go of? You know, pay attention on this new moon and say, right, I am ready to let go of all the things I'm thinking that hold me back, of all the ideas and belief systems that no longer serve me. I mean, we are actually brainwashed since childhood to believe certain negative things. Um, so, you know, put those to one side and go, I am committing to trusting my ideas and anything that you, Kiki, anything you want to communicate differently, this is the time. Now, Venus, the planet of love, is shifting signs and making you want to get very cosy and very higgy with your family, your close ones, those that mean the world to you. You also want everything to be beautiful and harmonious around your space. You might feel that you want a little bit more time at home with those that you love rather than being out there in the world. When Venus conjuncts Uranus, there is some deep stuff coming up within either your home or family that needs to be discussed. Is there someone in your family or home who's a bit obsessional? Do you tend to be obsessional? Are there issues around jealousy? Are there issues, any issues that are, uh, involve power and powerlessness? But because it's a trine, you have the opportunity to heal it or see it for what it is. When we see things for what they are, that empowers us. But there's a positive shift coming in that area this week. Let's see what your tarot has to say. Hey Libra, let's see what the tarot has to say. Of course, not necessarily for everyone. Use your intuition and your own psychic ability to sense whether you can relate to any of this reading. But don't forget the power of synchronicity may have brought you here. So let's have a little look. Libra, Libra, Libra. Libra for this week. What is occurring for you, Libra? Okay, Libra, you've been through a bloody difficult time and you've been like, oh, you know, I thought this journey to emotional passage would take forever. Perhaps you couldn't see a way out of it, but then you remembered who you were. You became the queen of swords and you your strength set you free. And now you are, from this week, able to build up some strong and solid new foundations. These days have gone, hopefully, fingers crossed. You are, If you still feel that you're in this emotional passage and you're still feeling a bit blindfolded and tra trapped, trust me, you are coming back to your senses. You may have to deal with somebody who, there may, may be one more thing, you may have to deal with somebody who's very dogmatic, very kind of strict and opinionated, and you're like, oh, so annoying, I thought I'd come through all that. But do not worry, because even though it appears that this person is pissing you off, behind you are two cups, not all is not lost. You've got to, don't react because you've had a hard time recently to one sort of upset, because trust me, you know, you, you have help. You have people around you coming in that are, are going to not only help heal you, but also show you the way and remind you of your heart. There may be an Aries, Leo or Sagittarius and also a Taurus, Virgo or Capricorn who are coming in and you are helping you move through that situation and awaken to your Empress ways. You're Very soon, once you've dealt with, you know, come finally come through what's been occurring, you've got the Empress there, which is you, the eternal mother in a way, giving birth to ideas, allowing yourself to know your power. So if anyone, when I say less than, 
we are all equal, of course, but anyone on an energetic lesser level who likes to be spiteful or give you a hard time, you are ready to deal with it. Open your eyes to it, though. Don't let it weigh you down. Remember, the Empress is more powerful than anybody being destructive to you. And particularly if there's a Taurus, Virgo or Capricorn giving you grief, it's time to move on. You've got the magician there. So you have all the tools in front of you for a brand new start. You are nearly at the new start. You know, you have the support around you. You have the energy within you. You have all the tools you need. But it's like, I, this is an emotional connection. It's sometimes difficult when people close to us behave like arseholes. So, you know, keep your heart open. Deal with it by being the empress and knowing your creative power is going to transform you. And ultimately, there's a new start where you are all powerful. Take care, gorgeous, and I'll speak to you soon. People often ask me, uh, Michelle, can you do me an astrology reading? Can you give me a psychic reading? And I'm not doing it at this moment, but as you may or may not know, I have a fabulous hand-picked team of some of the best psychics in the world and astrologers. So I'm going to introduce you to one each week. Here's Jonathan. My name is Jonathan. I'm a natural, intuitive, healer, empath and coach. I think in my readings people feel a sense of a safe space where they can really be themselves, let go. A motivating and empowering conversation, that's the best way I can describe it. But the way I work, I will instantly make a connection with you and validate that. If I don't, I will tell you otherwise. And the phone rings, I prepare myself, I get a little bit of a sense of what the reading may be, but ultimately for me it's the first instance of linking with somebody through their voice vibration. It's me getting into your energy and bringing to the surface what you may need to know to move forward for yourself. When you can give somebody a piece of information that maybe will be very personal or relevant to them and you wouldn't have known this otherwise, it's a very enthusing and inspiring time for the reader and the client. Particularly me, I enjoy people's positive reactions to my readings.